When shopping for a new Maxxis tire, you'll see a bunch of acronyms labeled on different options. One of those refers to the tire sidewall. But don't stress, we're gonna explain what these mean and compare EXO versus EXO Plus versus Double Down versus DH sidewalls on Maxxis tires and help you figure out which is best for you. When shopping for mountain bike tires, there's different options for both the tire sidewall and the rubber compound to match your personal preferences and riding style. We'll have another video covering the Maxxis rubber compounds as well. And if you're watching in the future and this video is done, you can check out that video by clicking up here. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about the different options for the tire sidewall. Over the years, there's been a bunch of different options for Maxxis, but in this day and age for tire models for trail through downhill riding, the sidewall options are EXO, EXO Plus, Double Down, and DH. These different options will give you more or less stiffness and support and more or less puncture resistance. Basically, these different options just refer to how tough and early the tire is, and the different designs change the weight and riding characteristics of each tire. Now, before we begin comparing tires, we wanted to briefly touch on the acronym TPI, which is threads per inch. There's 60 TPI or 120 TPI. Here's a photo and it just refers to how many threads there are in each square inch of the rubber in the tire's casing. In the end, this number doesn't really matter much since the TPI changes in each model of sidewall, so let's basically just pretend it isn't there as it will only worsen your analysis paralysis and just focus on the sidewall model name. Let's get into it. Starting on the left, we have the lightest EXO casing, then the more puncture resistant EXO Plus, then the burlier double down, and finally the burliest DH casing. When you feel these tires in your hand, you can totally feel how thick the sidewalls are. You can easily flex and maneuver the EXO, like Russ is right now, and each tire gets gradually more stiff and harder to flex as you work your way all the way to this DH tire, which is very noticeably harder to flex than the EXO. The EXO sidewalls are the most common tires on the trail as they come stock on so many complete bikes. But you might be looking at some new tires because yours are either worn out or because you're looking for either better puncture resistance or a different feel from your tires. And one last thing before we chit chat about how these ride, let's go over the descriptions from Maxxis for each sidewall. EXO, or as Russ likes to say, EXO, is an extremely cut resistant and abrasion resistant material added to the sidewalls. This density woven fabric is also lightweight and highly flexible, ensuring that the performance of the tire remains unaffected. Choose EXO protection for exceptionally rocky, treacherous trails where the chance of sidewall cuts and abrasions is high. Holy crap, what year was this written in? <laughs> Your enthusiasm is in The way that they wrote it? Incredible. So uh, you said that there used to not be EXO at all, right? Originally, I think they just had a, whatever their normal sidewall was, then EXO came out and it was the burly sidewall. And they also had DH back in the day. Yeah. Nothing in between, so I guess EXO. And riding has changed a bit over the years. That's why more tires and sidewalls have come out over the years. Mm -hmm. Let's just say that the way that whoever was overly caffeinated at Maxxis wrote that, <laughs> let's just say that that might be a little outdated and, um, We'll talk more on the EXO a little bit later. Now on to EXO Plus. EXO Plus combines two of the best puncture protection materials, Silk Shield and EXO. The Silk Shield layer runs from bead to bead with a layer of EXO along the sidewalls. Combine these two materials create EXO Plus, which improves puncture protection by 27%, sidewall durability by 51%, and resistance to pinch flats by 28%. Double Down is the next step in the evolution of the dual ply tire casing for enduro and downhill racing. Two 120 TPI casing layers reinforced with a butyl insert provides the rider with the support and protection of a mountain bike tire, but in a lighter package. DH utilizes two layers of 60 TPI casing material used from bead to bead, providing additional puncture protection and sidewall stiffness for the most demanding enduro and downhill applications. And before talking about how these sidewalls ride, let's talk weight. We'll use the 29 by 2.5 Maxxis Asagai for comparison since it's so popular. EXO is 1,075 grams. EXO Plus is 1,125 grams. Double Down is 1,305 grams. And DH is 1,334 grams. So that EXO and EXO Plus are super close in weight. Then there's a big jump up to the Double Down, which also happens to be very close to the DH weight. If Mike's EXO Plus, I'm Double Down. <laughs> 
So now that we have a general understanding of what each sidewall option is all about, let's talk about how they ride. Let's do it. All right, Russ, first I have something that I think you'd be better explaining. Sure. So let's talk about how a tire is basically undamped suspension. Yeah, well, I think the thinner the tire, the easier it is to squish, but the faster it typically rebounds. Mm -hmm. So a thicker tire like a DH casing has a very damp feel, but a thinner tire like an EXO has more of a springy, lively feel to it. So that's a very important thing to understand about how tires ride, how they're gonna ride the trail, and how they're gonna affect how you like to ride your bike and have fun. So let's start all the way with the lightest, springiest yep. tire, and that is the EXO. Like you were saying, the most popular tire on the trails because it comes stock on so many complete bikes. Yeah, it's also the lightest tire in the bunch, and I think it is a very good option for probably the most people in the entire country. So if you're riding normal trails, you're not super aggressive, you don't need the weight, and you want a tire that's just gonna have a nice, lively feel to it, yep. um, it's probably one of the best options. It's got a lot of pop to it. Yep. Um, it is, like Russ was saying, it's a very lightweight tire, so it doesn't weigh much, which means you have less rotational mass uh, spinning around on your bike. It spins up very quickly, and so yeah, that tire uh, is also going to have good cornering control, but mm -hmm. um, it's not until you get to the point where you're riding super aggressive, slashing corners, and trying to be really cool on Instagram, where you might find the weak part of that in the how it rides on the trail. Yeah, and like you said, it is it is easy to spin up. It's also an easy tire to stop. You know, the, it doesn't have as much uh, centrifugal force to it. And so, yeah, it's it's a very, it just feels lively and lightweight. So with all that said, now we're gonna mm -hmm. look at the XO Plus. And so I think that the big reason that you would go from XO to XO Plus is you're gonna get a little bit better puncture resistance. Yep. And with that added layer, so basically an XO Plus is an XO tire with another shield, which is called Silk Shield or yep. Slick Shield, um, which goes all the way bead to bead for the casing. So when you actually add that, you do get better puncture resistance, but in the way that the tire actually feels when you're riding, yep. it adds stiffness and support. Yeah, and that's the thing I noticed the most, me being a little bit heavier than, than yourself. Um, the extra support of the tire, just allows me to have a little bit more confidence and it doesn't feel like the tire's collapsing underneath me as much, so. You, you might know. have to run higher pressure to make it feel more stiff on the trail. Well, I think at the, if you ran them at the same pressure, this would feel stiffer and mm -hmm. more supportive without having to run higher pressure. And I think that's one of the benefits of going to a stiffer casing. Yeah, and I have seen people that ride aggressively with the XO tires that come mm -hmm. stock on their bike. Yeah. That are riding aggressively and they'll go and be like, hey, watch me slash this corner. And you can watch their corner, it like folds over. Yep. So um, so yeah, we're gonna get into two more things and that's, that's squirming and, and folding over. And that's what happens the more aggressive that you ride, especially in corners. So that squirmy feel when you have a lightweight tire, um, when you're going straight, you have those thin sidewalls. They can actually move side to side a little bit, especially when you're trying to hold your line. Yeah, it feels like it moves around more underneath you. Exactly, and going from XO to XO Plus, it's gonna have less squirm, feel more supportive, a little bit more stiff, and overall, a little bit more confidence inspiring in my opinion. So with that all said, let's go up to the Double Down. So Double Down's one of my personal favorites. Me too. I'm 190 pounds, and even on, for a trail tire, I want something that's gonna support my weight, my riding style, I ride a bigger bike, and with a thicker sidewall on it and the dual layers of the 120 TPI sidewall of it, it I feel like it, it just supports everything I wanna do. It's very similar to the DH, but in a livelier. Lighter weight package. It's slightly lighter, but I don't notice the weight as much, but it does have an amazingly different feel yeah. from the DH. It, it feels springier and it feels lively. Yeah, true. Thinking back, I think it was only like 40 or 50 grams. Uh, so, most tires, yeah, less than 50 so grams. So let's not difference. look at the weight as much and think about more so how they ride. Then when we're looking at the downhill, the burliest casing, yep. um, now DH casing, it's, it's a downhill bike tire. I mean, that's what it's designed for. It's designed to ride downhill fast, dual crown fork, and bomb through stuff, right? Yeah, and it is slightly heavier than what a double down is. It's basically 260 TPI casing. Correct. 
a little bit thicker, but I think the biggest difference that I noticed between these two is that this has more of a damped feel. So if I'm charging through just really chundery terrain, it kind of, it feels planted, it feels damped. And that's why it's a great DH yeah, tire. It's, it gets you a lot of confidence too, because it, yeah. it sucks when you're riding really fast through something and you can kind of feel your bike kind of, you know, losing its edge, losing its control. Um, it gets springy, especially when yeah. you're on the XO stuff. When you got that downhill tire or a double down, it gives you that much more confidence to ride through stuff, knowing that A, you're not gonna collapse your tire as much and be, you know, pinging your rim. It's nice with a tire insert for sure, but yeah. um, it just gives you more better support. It makes your brain feel better, like you're not gonna break stuff as much too. Yeah, it's kind of the way these two, as far as a trail tire, how one feels more planted, the other one feels slightly springier. Same here with the double down and the DH. Weight's not gonna be as big a factor, I think, for most people, but just whether you're looking for a damped uh, feel to it or you're looking for a springier, livelier feel to it, mm -hmm. I think that's what's gonna make your decision on whether you're gonna get a double down or a DH. Yeah, and a lot of customers too that walk into the store, when they're going from XO or XO Plus or whatever, and, and they're getting a downhill tire, like they know what they're getting. Yeah, I mean, yeah. For myself, I ride a 38 pound bike. Yeah. Nothing I'm gonna do to it is gonna make it lightweight. So adding 50 grams per tire, not a big deal. I'll pick the tire that suits the terrain I'm gonna ride and the way I want it to feel. Okay, so yeah, I think that we covered everything when it comes to how these things actually ride on the trail. Next, let's talk about one other important factor which you might be considering because you're upgrading or replacing your tire is puncture resistance. So in a really easy sliding scale, a super simple way to look at this, we can basically start here. So in a- it has more stab force than this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you are a trail and you have a rock, it takes the least amount of force to puncture this. It takes more force to puncture this. Yep. Even more force to puncture this and the most force required to puncture this. That's so really it, an easy way to look at it. Yeah. So if you are a rock on a trail and you're looking for a victim, that's your guy. There's not much to do if you're a rock on a trail. Uh, they just kind of hide out and they're they're lurkers. They come out of nowhere sometimes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> They've snuck up on me before. So me personally, I've had the extra tires on bikes. Russ has too, just mm -hmm. because they come stock on so many things. I personally don't ride that anymore when I have the choice. Uh, I have had obviously the most flats with the XO tire, yep. um, but moving up into the scale, I've had the least amount of flats with everything else. Um, it's yeah, they do They they do fine for most instances. And for if, most riders. If you're hard on things and you have a tendency to get uh, pinch flats, stuff like that where you're banging off stuff, probably wanna move up into a little bit burlier tire. Yeah, and a lot of people that come into the shop you know, they'll say, I'm kind of, you know, I, I've just been riding harder and progressing in my riding. Mm -hmm. And the past week I've had two flats on my XO, just where yep. they're riding somewhere else with more rocks, et cetera, et cetera. Still a trail rider. Exactly. Just want a little bit more protection. Yeah, they're progressing to need more protection. Yep. And they need, you know, a little bit more tire so that they're not getting flats on the side of the trail. And flats suck, as everybody knows. Yeah. They're less and less over the years, but they still exist and they're always going to. And when you get to the point where you're like straight up destroying, like it looks like a nuclear bomb went off in your XO and you're straight up shredding the tires, that's when it's just time to just jump right to the double down. Yeah. It's just a better tire suited for very aggressive riding. I do know really aggressive riders, friends of mine that ride super hard and they're on extra tires and they totally get away with it. They oh, just totally. like that poppy, lively, lightweight nature. Yep. And they ride smooth, they get away with it. Yeah, um, one thing I do wanna point out is that XO tires, they come on a lot of bikes. Every time I ride Whistler and I'm meeting up with a group of friends and we're at my van, I look around and I say, okay, XO tire, XO tire, XO tire. Okay, three people have XO tires in the bikes. I'm gonna bring three tubes with me. At least. I also noticed that they don't have a hip pack or a backpack and don't have a tube strap with them. Yeah. I bring the tubes with me because I know they're gonna get flats. Well, and I don't think Maxis is trying to market this as a bike park Absolutely tire. Absolutely not. But I just wanted all. to point that out that but, it's yeah, not riding, a bike park tire. If you're riding bike parks, I, I'm only in this section. I'm only gonna go double down or DH. I'm not gonna, definitely not gonna have the XO on there. Probably not gonna run any XO Plus unless I really, that's all I have. Um, if you're buying tires to ride in a bike park or you're just shuttling, yeah. just go for the thicker sidewall. 
yeah. you'll you'll have a lot less. It'll fun. save you time. You'll have more fun. Yep. Bada bing, bada boom. Yep. So, yeah, I mean that's that's puncture resistance in a nutshell, and kind of all it funnels into one package, right? I mean, yep. when you get a uh, a little bit burlier, more supportive, more stiff tire, you get more puncture resistance and you get more support. So even if you just wanted to get a burlier tire for more puncture resistance, yeah. you're gonna also get that more support and it's pretty fun to feel how those feel on the trail. Yeah, and as long as you know the weight going into it, yep. you can kind of make an informed decision, get the tire that's right for you and your riding style, which is important, and be honest with yourself of where you're riding and what you're doing with the, with the bike and it's pretty, pretty easy to get the right tire. Yeah, just don't go overkill. Well, and if you're riding a, a Trek fuel, or a Trek top fuel, you probably don't need a DH tire for it. If you're yeah. riding a Geometron G1, you probably don't want to stick a EXO tire on. Yeah, use the applicable tire for what you're riding yep. and you're gonna have the most fun. Definitely. That's all it comes down to. It's easy. All right, so that is Maxxis mountain bike tire sidewalls. Explain, we got the puncture resistance, how they ride, and there's the another weights. acronym here, the, and the weights. There's another acronym here, it says Max Grip. Some of them say Max Terra. We're gonna get to that in another video, and you can watch that by clicking up here. And if you wanna order any of these tires for your bike, click somewhere over here. Go to Velosco.com, free shipping in the USA, over 49 bucks, so pretty much any Maxxis tire, yep. and you're good to go. Until next time, I don't know. I, we have work to do. Let's That's start it. doing stuff All again right. later. <laughs>